Alright guys, welcome back to part 2 of the 50 horsepower 4x4 lawnmower build. So today we're starting the chassis for this thing, so we can start to mount up some suspension. Alrighty guys, so we've got this thing stretched out now. It's about a 200 mil stretch. Um, I did actually shorten up the rear chassis rails because this thing just didn't feel right to sit in. Just felt too far away, so I brought it closer. 
Um, as you can see, the rails are sitting nice and parallel. Uh, now the back of the mower does taper in a little bit, so I've had to actually offset the back a little bit more um, than I'd like to, but I think that should work. Now this thing is completely bent up. This whole side's been crashed into, so it does look a bit funny on here, but I've made sure that it's nice and even um, down the bottom, so I don't really mind about aesthetics on the look. It sort of looks cool, well beaten up. So next thing I want to do is lay out the front suspension and see how that's going to look um, with our engine and all that sort of stuff. All right, so here we have the first lower control arm sort of mocked up here, rough height. Um, now, I am using these um, car control arms because it's all pre-made and it all suits this CV joint here that we've got, and it just makes it a lot easier than having to remake it all like we did on Big Red. So basically what we're gonna do is mount up the arm down here, leave enough room, I've sort of measured up where our CV joint's gonna go to our front differential, um, and then we can either cut this man off or leave it and make a top A arm as well to suit and then have our shocks mounted up with some hoops or something. All right, so we've got all the tabs cut off there and a bit of weight reduction happening. So now I've installed this ball joint. Um, I have tried to drill a taper hole in the top. I actually turned down one of these blunt um, stepper drills, turned that all down to make it into a taper drill bit because my ones I've ordered on eBay haven't come here yet, but they don't actually quite fit. So I'm gonna have to just wait. I don't wanna damage that hole anymore. Um, so we're gonna have to make up a tab 
under here and join it back to this arm. Obviously it'll all be sitting out sort of about there and this ball joint will be much lower, but for now in this video, um, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. Alright guys, just going to take a quick break to talk about today's video sponsor, Kang Industrial. These guys offer the highest quality tools at the lowest price as possible. Now they have hooked us up with a 1 inch um, TB3 metal tubing bender here. So I've gone for the 1 inch die at 240 degree radius. This thing is going to be an absolute game changer. Now this thing is built really beefy, it's got a 15mm thick plate at the top and 12mm thick plates in the centre and the stand is absolutely awesome. I'll bolt this thing down and uh, get a nice spot for this thing. So if you guys want to go check out their website, I'll leave the link down in the description. Let's get back to it. Alrighty guys, this thing is starting to look absolutely amazing. Now I'm really happy with how this tube work turned out. That's a that was my first time actually using this bender, so a huge thanks to Kang Industrial for that. Um, they actually come out pretty good. Now I am unsure on how um, these A-arms are going to work because the mounts are so close together and on an angle, they might not possibly get full travel. Now we can always deal with that in the next one, but for now I just wanted to get these things in. It was difficult enough with these ball joints not being able to go all the way down, but we will be fixing that in the next video. See, I've also just mocked up this engine here. As you guys can see, this thing is absolutely massive. So we will have to try and make some engine mounts for this. And in the next video, we will be building a front diff and a rear differential. So the rear is gonna be a solid um, CV spool and the front will be an LSD. So we can spin both those uh, front wheels nice and evenly with a uh, chain drive. So that'll be interesting to see how we do all that. Yeah guys, I'm gonna to have to end this one here. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button and notification bell. So I'm I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, this is not gonna work. I've just spent ages building up all these brackets and did not even realize that this has to be able to turn. Ah, back to the drawing board.